Welcome, it's Junk Dump, and we're here with a set of Oldsmobile 307 cylinder heads. And let's kick things off with the deep retake. Now this is a set of 1982 5A heads and you'll notice that the castings in these are very different from earlier castings. We're going to start by setting up the valve spring compression tool and then we're going to lubricate all the valve stems and those keepers. A gentle tap with the hammer to help free up some of those keepers. Now it's not uncommon with a high mileage engine to have the keepers kind of stuck in place so we may still have to work them a little bit later. So these are, like I said before, a 1982 set of 5A heads. These are off from a 307. These are smog era heads. And you can tell by the castings there are some plugs in the exhaust chambers. Um, and those are for the air injection system which would inject air into the exhaust to heat up the caps to get your catalysts working uh, quicker so you can go into closed loop operation quicker. And try to be patient with the keepers. In most cases, you'll be able to get them free without causing any damage. And here I'm going to remove the valve guide seals. Now you'll notice that these are going to be very uh, dry, crusty, sometimes stuck in place. This is common for old valve seals or seals that have seen a lot of mileage. And remember to clean up your stems before you pull those valves out. It just helps not to knurl up those guides. If they're still any good, you wouldn't want to do any damage to them. And now I'm going to mark the valves and then pull them out. Now the air injector nozzle heads are still in these heads. Um, and oftentimes some of them are a little bit stuck. In most cases I find that they're fairly easy to remove. Um, this set of heads has a lot of miles on it, so I had to tap out the outside ones, but the inner ones were just pushed through with my, with my fingers. And this is what those injector nozzles look like when you pull one out. You notice it's just basically a tube. Now as I insert this, you can see how much of the flow is interrupted by these injector nozzles when they're in place, especially upside down here you can see. And now I'm going to flip them over and carry out the same process on the next cylinder head.
and that's how to disassemble a pair of Oldsmobile uh, small block 307 cylinder heads. And sometime in the future, I'm going to show you how to get better performance out of these heads by porting them.